Hey now, I hope you're all doing all right. I was working on this review right here of the uh, loop launcher for the uh, track builder series. Yeah, it's back. I've been working on the video and uh, I had a feeling it was taking too long. Sure enough, I sit down to edit it eight and a half minutes long and I still haven't got to any action. So I got I to gotta snip out part of that and reshoot. It's just too long. And I know my videos run longer. You know, it's because, you know, look, I, I, I have a certain storytelling type style, right? But eight and a half minutes, even before I get to the action, bad idea. So I got to snip, reshoot, and whatnot. So I was going to delete it. But then I thought, you know what? I can take snip out that part. And then if you want to check it out, you can see what's being deleted. And this part that you're going to see coming up, I'm reshooting it. I can take all these points that I mentioned, compress them, and make it a lot more effective. And then get to the action a lot sooner. So anyways, here's something a little different. Uh, I'm snipping this, deleting it from the future presentation when I review this. You won't see this part. So if you're watching now, you get to see something that uh, actually uh, I really didn't mean for anybody to see. But I thought maybe you'd like to check it out. Anyways, have fun with your choice. Check out what's going to be deleted. Bye-bye. I have them both put together. The old style came with two connectors. But they had to include the connectors because otherwise I... How are you going to connect the track? The new version, the tab is built in. To be honest, I like that version better because this one, sometimes it's kind of hard to get the track detached once you have it on there. This one, it's real easy to detach. You push the button and then you can just de detach your track. And let's take a look at the loop or actually the kicker part. You can see the kicker parts are just about the same design. But on the side, you can see they gave it an updated look different texture different style as far as the size this track this loop it, it, the track is like this much shorter so this one looks like it's a bigger loop and it's not that much bigger it starts off higher off of the platform you can see this is lower on the platform so even though it makes it look like it, this it is I guess it is bigger because this part is included in part of your loop now I spun them around to look at the other side here's the old one we're going to connect it I never tested this before. I don't know why. This goes straight in. But when you come out, why is it not straight? Look how it kicks to the side here. It's not straight like this. It should be right here. So how are you, when you make your layout, I don't understand why they had this come sideways. Uh, I'm going to test them. I'm going to make a layout. I don't think I like that. We'll find out. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the connectability on top. Now this one is a little bit out of camera view, so I'll use this one right here. You can see that one. You take your track, slide it on. Wow, really easy. See the angles? It's attached, and then you can change the angles. This way, if your track your track is going way that way, you go here, or you can have it go lower, or over there, over there, and then you have the stopper here. That's a nice little spot to park your car. Hey, it's even got some parking spots. It even has some parking spots. See where you put your wheels right there? Hey, that's very nice. The new box is bigger, and it's not just because they give you one, two, three, four pieces of extra track. It's because of the base. Remember this one, we had to put together the two halves. Yeah, they cut it in half to make it fit in a smaller box. And since this one has a one uni piece base, that allows it to fit. These, this is $9.99, and when these sets were released, these smaller sets, since it didn't have the track, look, I, I put a little note. Uh, I bought it at Kmart, February 15, 2014. It's only $8.99, so for a dollar more, we're getting uh, four pieces of track. This is the better deal for sure. Now, when they had these sets, they also had track packs that you could purchase on the site. Mm, I think this was $3. I forget. But put some track in the box, would you? Because, uh, you know what? Kids need more. Put track in here. They're still going to buy extra track because we want more track, right? Put it in the box, too. Mattel called this one Quick Kick Loop. They called this one Loop Launcher. I'm just going to call them Kicker Loops because that's what they do, and I, I can't remember. As a matter of fact, this one, look, it was also in Total Turbo Takeover. Look how it has red track instead of orange. It has the straight, look, it has a straight entrance going in. Look at the gears. The, the molding on the side is the same, but look on this side where 
total turbo takeover and it's straight look it comes straight up i don't know why they made this one with the uh, quick kick loop quick kick loop i don't know why it's crooked right there it doesn't make any sense oh yeah total turbo takeover it had two kicker loops in there so i think i'll do a review with the kicker loops and uh, we might as well just put them all together and uh, make a nice little layout for testing here's something else that's interesting this little foot peg well the blue one the older one actually was a little bit wider than this new version it kind of was thinner too but more importantly this new one look at this it has this whole side right here you know i use i use weights to hold down my loops so that uh you know keep my track more steady on the older one you had no no place to put it the only place you could put it was on these little things and it really wasn't a whole lot to grab on so this one definitely gives us a lot more room to grab onto to brace our sets so if you're a hot wheels fan then see the points that i point out are kind of important you kind of like to know that stuff if you're a hot wheels fan the, the problem is with the general public maybe they don't want to hear the blah 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 they just show me the action so it was it was too long before eight and a half minutes before i get to the action and uh, i know i get long in some videos but in this time i'm going to trim it reshoot so uh, at some point uh, very soon you'll see the a finished presentation it'll be uh less blah blah and more action all right thanks for watching Bye. Bye. Bye.